<laughs> We're here with Matthew Carberry of Sustainable Aquatics, and you've got some beautiful tanks set up that at, at the booth has been very busy. We've been waiting for an opening just to talk with you when it's slowed well, down. <laughs> so I want to know more about your company. What is going on here? Why sustain, you know, what's the deal? Um, well, of course, like you said, the company name is Sustainable Aquatics, and we're uh, we're located in East Tennessee, so um, far from home here in Utah. But um, we have two major components to our business right now, and one is a hatchery component where we're raising fish totally in captivity. They're they're born there and raised there, and then we have another component where we're bringing in small post settlement post larval fish from the ocean, and then raising them up in captivity in captive conditions with artificial seawater and um, aquarium foods, and then selling them into trade from there. Okay, so what I'm hearing, you capture the tiny fish, but the parents are left in the ocean to keep making more tiny fish. Right, so the broodstock, as it were, are left in the ocean to keep reproducing, and uh, we just take the small ones, the component of the small ones. Right, and you should train them to eat aquarium food. Right. Which yep. sounds like a plus, too. That's, uh, and it's a process. We start out with live foods, even with the, the fish coming in, the post-larval fish, and then we transition them on to aquarium foods after that. Right. And then... <laughs> John's messing with us, <laughs> and I'm loving it. <laughs> so funny. All right, take two, click. Uh, so I want to know about the clown trigger, the story behind that. Was it tiny when you got it? How long they, have you had it? When will you sell it? Yeah, they were tiny when we got them, and they're a, a seasonal fish, so there's something that we don't get all the time. But about once a year, we can get them when they're about half inch to an inch long. Yeah. And then we raise them generally for about three months before we release them for sale. Okay. But then throughout the year, we'll have them available as larger and larger fish until we run out and then hopefully next year's uh, spawn comes in and becomes available again. Now you told me earlier that you have some really large fish that you've been trying, how, like how long you keep them alive? We do. Well, the, like a goal? SI project, as we're calling it, is about one year old. One year old in October. So we have some fish that we kept from the first batches that came in that are now one year old. And uh, we call them proof of concept fish. Mm -hmm. uh, but they're kind of pets. And so we have a clown trigger that's nearing one foot long and we have some big file fish and uh, some cool fish that we just kept to let get big butterflies. Mm -hmm. Um, so they do well long term, and that's kind of our, our way of showing how they do when you keep them even after the small size. Do you have like this massive warehouse of fish? What's What kind of numbers um, are we talking about? It's several buildings. It's kind of a campus, but um, we're about 25,000 square feet under roof right now, wow. and we're looking for two more buildings uh, in the near future. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fish. It's fish everywhere. And then when they go to our stores, mm -hmm. I mean, we're going to, we, would we have to request our store to carry sustainable aquatic fish? Um, it wouldn't hurt, but uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, we do cater to retail stores all over the country, so yeah. we're always trying to introduce ourselves and, uh, of course, generate business and, yeah. um, and see more of our fish in the shops. Right. And is there a certain fish you wish you could carry that you haven't gotten yet? Um, yeah, probably maybe powder blue tangs would be a nice one to get. Mm -hmm. Some of the fish that we don't carry yet are fish that maybe don't fit our model because they're not available in small sizes or there aren't big swarms of them. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's one, for instance, that we'd like to get if we could find them. Are you trying to get them from like major distributors? Are you actually getting them from certain divers? We're I mean, working with the collectors themselves in um, in Fiji and the Solomons mm -hmm. in Florida Keys to train the collectors on specifically the kind of fish we want and the specifics of handling them because it's a little bit different than bigger fish and uh, how to get them to us safely. And, uh, and you said Solomons, so I'm thinking Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea's not far away. We haven't. Sea Smart is but, new. But is that something you want to join with? People and yeah. And yeah. again, that's a different kind of a collection, but we'd yes. like to work with them on getting the small fish that, that we can raise, and they seem to be able to that. So, Are there any hurdles that you've had to really overcome that you're a challenge you could you could share that's not like a trade um, secret? No, not really. The, a big um, transition for them is food, of course. You've got to feed them right away, and, and the food almost has to be continuous for them in the beginning. Oh. Uh, they have to eat really, really often. Uh, especially the tangs, the little uh, tiny hippo tangs have a very high metabolism. Yeah. So in the beginning, that was a hurdle to make sure they were growing fast enough to be healthy. Uh, yeah, you said some fish arrive without their color, that they're still very pale. Right, even some of the blue tangs are just getting their color. color that they're just settled out after the uh, acroneurus larval stage, mm -hmm. and they're turning into a, what we recognize as a tang. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then, of course, they fully color up, and we sell them at about two inches, usually. How long have you been in business? We've been in business about four years now. Okay. Uh, the SI project's just one year old, but... Um, and I've been breeding as a hobbyist before that, so. Ah. <laughs> but the business itself is just four years old. Well, thank you so much for taking a minute out from your schedule. You're speaking today about this very topic, I right? I am, in a few minutes, yeah. So. Oh, I better let you go. Oh, thank right. you so much for your time. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it.